If you want to know how this works and do it yourself, this is the right video for you. I demonstrated this with a friend and not on official servers. I'm doing that only for showing you the fundamentals of image processing, which you will need for further projects with AIs and images. Don't use it. I wrote in the title that this cheat works on every shooter game. But why can I safely say this? Is it all clickbait? <laughs> of course not. But to answer these kinds of questions, you need to know how to cheat in a game. The most awful cheats work in fact with some reverse engineering methods. So you program the game to another version to enable functions which others normally don't have. My method is different because I don't change the source code of the game itself. Instead I automate the process of clicking on the mouse if an enemy is in the range of your vision. Okay, this is how my first approach works. First I take a fraction of the middle screen. Second, I summarize every pixel value. Third, is to compare the first value of the first picture with the current one of the current frame. And then to decide to trigger or not to trigger. The first problem with that is that I must stand still and give the enemy the opportunity to sneak to my position and shoot me, even I couldn't see him. The second problem is that the picture may not move, so if it rains or a tree is moving a little bit in the wind, the bot will trigger the weapon. In order to fix the first problem, you must have a system that can detect the enemy. This can be made with an image detection AI. And in fact this could be the next topic. The solution of the second problem is that you must continually update the first value to similar next value. If then the next value changes too much the bot can trigger. But now we will move on to reading the code. If you have any questions to this code or something runs out of date, please comment under the video. The whole project is of course on GitHub available. The link is in the video description down below. The first step is to import all necessary packages. Then we will start with the actual script. First we have to set up a few parameters. Now we have to start a while loop in order to loop infinitely and as fast as possible. The first step is to get the image in the middle of the screen with 10 by 10 pixels. In order to get the middle of the screen you must cut your screen resolution in half and add 5 at both the x and y axis. Then you have to convert it to a numpy array and convert the sum of all values. The next function will either activate or deactivate your bot. Now it checks if the bot is active. If the picture value is different the bot will shoot and deactivate itself. If the picture value is not changing too much it will update it. That is the function to calculate the frames per second. This will scale up the image in order to print it bigger. And this will take the image, convert it to RGB and show it to you until you press Q for quit. The last line of the code will print the color value and the frames per second. To be able to run this code, you must have Python 3 and all necessary packages 
with pip installed. If you have python installed you can type pip install minus r requirements.txt in order to install the packages. And with that thanks for watching and feel free to comment and like this video.